Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video. Guys, in this video, I'll be teaching you how we can run our first Spark program in Scala programming language. So for that, I'll be using the Scala IDE, right? So let's start it. So first of all, uh, click on File, click on New, then click on Scala Project. Afterwards, give some name here. I'm giving it here, be Pro 1, and click on Finish. And you can see on the left side, the Pro 1 is available. Afterwards, what to do? Click Right click on SRC and click on Build Path and click on Configure Build Path. The reason we are going to the Build Path here because we need to incorporate all the necessary jars to run or to work with the Spark, right? So uh, we need to go to the, uh, click on the Add External Jars after clicking on Libraries. Click on Add External Jars and find where, where your Spark folder is available. It's available in my C drive in my system. So go to the uh, Spark folder and in, in, in which you will be finding the jars. So afterwards, click with the Control A, select all the jars, right? And you can see it has been populated and click on Apply and click on Apply and Close. And you will find that the, the reference libraries are being added to your project. Okay, we are done. Afterwards, right click on SRC and click on new, then click on the Scala object and give some name to the object. I'm giving it as OBJ1, okay? I've already have defined in my previous video that uh, every Scala program has three major things. One is object followed by the main, main method and followed by the some statements or expressions. So we already have made an object with the name OBJ1. So let's try to uh, write our first uh, Spark program, okay, in which we'll be just printing the Spark version. That's it. Nothing, nothing uh, so difficult, right? First of all, define your main method with the def keyword, def main, and then with the parenthesis we are having and define your uh, uh, args, arguments here. So args then followed by a semicolon, then array. This is a default template for every Scala program, right? You can save it maybe in a notepad file as a boilerplate. So string, then we are done, okay? Afterwards, specify the things with the parenthesis, this curly bracket, sorry. All right, it's done. Now afterwards, first of all, please define your Spark session. So what is Spark session? The Spark session is a unified entry point for Apache Spark functionality or applications. Earlier, we used to have Spark context as the entry point to the Spark functionality, but now in the newer version, Spark session is a unified entry point for the Spark applications. So Spark session will be created using the Spark session dot builder pattern. So let's first uh, uh, define your Spark session in uh, uh, for which I'm using VAL uh, because every uh, every Scala statement start with either VAL or VAR. So we are using VAL. Uh, we are defining the Spark then spark session spark session dot builder okay dot builder now it has got some methods available let's define the first method uh, which is master so who what is master here okay you must be wondering what is master i've specified here the master is nothing it allows the uh, spark applications to connect and run in different modes the modes can be local mode standalone cluster right and any other other mode as well depending upon the configuration so i'm specifying in this parent in this uh, uh, parenthesis the mode i'm using as a local mode the local machine okay in which we need to specify some integer i'm specifying here one so what it means uh we, we are using here local one because we are running on our local laptop so this this should be a the inside the square bracket it should be a some uh, regular uh uh, an integer and it should be greater than zero. It represent how many partitions uh, it should create when using any of the data structure that you're, you're using your program. It can be RDD, data frame or data set. Okay. So we are specifying here uh, the master and we need to specify with the help of uh, this uh, double quotes, then the error can be resolved. Okay. Then this is done. So we are specifying here local one. So one should be an integer. It should be more than or greater than zero. Afterwards, uh, we are specifying another uh, method, which is app name. App name meaning is application name. So what it means, it sets a name to the Spark application that uh, with, that will be visible in the Spark web UI. If no application name is set, it will be using a random name. So I'm giving some name here. I'm using my channel name, okay, just to promote, right? So I'm specifying here UBD. Done. So this is app name is done. The last thing is pending now. It is get or create. It returns a Spark session object if it already exists. It create a new one if 
it doesn't right so hi, here i'm specifying get or create we are done get or create and we are done and please uh, end your statement with a semicolon okay afterwards simply uh, use a print ln statement to print so print ln i want to print the spark version so here i'm specifying just for readability spark version okay and uh, here I can specify with the plus sign spark dot version. Okay, we are done. Okay, so now one thing is pending, which is still because we have error available. We haven't specified the important uh, uh, header file or we can say library, right? Let's import some important package here, which is import with the help of import uh, method org dot apache dot spark dot sql dot spark session this is important otherwise you'll be getting error in your program okay we are done so everything is done now let's see uh, if there is no error now there's no error available so we are done with our first little uh, program in which we want to just print the spark version so how to run it we know that uh, click on run click on run as scala application and you will find at the bottom of your screen the things start working and you will find the spark version is 3.5.0 which is correct i hope you must have understood from this short little video that how to get started with the apache spark programming and uh, how, how we can write a program in a scala ide thanks for watching guys see you in the next video